in the middle if it tastes salty. Oh, I already... Yes, it does. Totally. Carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants. No dairy. The next level cooking show. Carnivore recipes with meat, fish, seafood, eggs, gelatin, flavored seltzer, water and salt. From super easy to complicated. From quickly done to many hours in the kitchen. I always say everybody's body and brain are different and you gotta figure out what works best for you. The carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits, healing effects and is the best elimination diet. There are many different ways how to do carnivore. I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! Welcome to my creative carnivore kitchen. Okay, I don't have much time, so let's get started. I think this is a bit... Okay, so what I want to do today is something quick and easy, but still next level. So my thing is with steaks, yes, I have here a beautiful New York steak, entregato, however you want to call it. It's not that thick, but um, so usually my problem is when I make steak, well, I, you know me, I put salt around it, but then there's no salt in between, like in it. So when I cut it, and usually I eat really thick steaks, so like in the middle, there's no salt and I want salt there. So what can I do? Okay, so actually, what I want to do today, I should do with a really thick steak. It will make more sense, but I had this beautiful steak here in the freezer and I want, I want this right now. I, I don't want the whole lot of meat. Like I didn't have like a small thick steak and I don't want like a huge. But so, well, I'm, I'm going to try it with this and I'm sure I'm also going to try it with a thick steak. So what the fuck am I talking about? What I'm talking about is salt. I want salt in the middle of the steak, so not just around it. So how do we do that? So I already prepared here. Um, it's just salt water. So yeah, it's kind of brownish. Maybe you see that. That's because I used this salt here. I had it in the, in the uh, oven, so it turned brown. So yeah, that's why. So I put a lot of salt in here and I boiled it. So now it's really, really salty. Ooh, ooh, I love salt, but ooh, yeah, this is like the ocean. Really, really salty. So I wanna uh -huh, have here my needle. Actually, you know what? I could also get a regular needle. No, that's good. That's good. So I, I had a needle, I have a needle that has a smaller opening than that one. It's like really just a regular syringe needle basically. And that would work too. This has a little bit of a bigger opening. So here I can also get egg yolk through. But um, so the other one would work too if you just have a regular needle. But um, I just have that here handy. So I wanna use that. So, so it's tilted. And now I'm gonna inject it everywhere. While I'm injecting, I um, I'm preheating this cast iron pan, and yes, it's still dirty. That gives it even more flavor. I love my dirty pans. So I just, um, on the highest heat, I preheat the pan. 
Okay, so this pan is a little bit preheated. I'm just gonna put that in here. So, and let's fry this. Why this is frying in here, we are going back here and here is already an egg. Um, it's left over for, from an omu steak I made. Here's a recipe for omu. So just, yeah, I had some left over, but I'm gonna add two more eggs. So then it'll probably be like three eggs, two and a half eggs. Well, how many eggs you wanna use. It's for scrambled eggs, but also here with a twist. So, gonna add two eggs. Here we're gonna add some salt. And now, thought I, I don't just want eggs, I wanna add something. Let's add a little bit of my chicken flour recipe here. And gonna, yeah, you, you can add how much you want. I just added three grams, so very little. You could add a whole lot, but then you don't really have then scrambled eggs anymore, then you have more of a dough. So I just added a little bit, three grams, as I said. Let's check on our steak, or my steak. Okay. Ooh, yeah, more than enough. I like my steak still raw or rare in the middle. That's, a, that's why I don't like thin steaks. And you see here is the fat. What I like to do is get that fat part. Let's get this out, otherwise it'll be too much. I leave that here, it's still on the highest heat. Usually I try to cover it with some, usually I try to cover it with something. Um, I don't have anything, I just put it in the microwave right now. I just put it in there, but I, I did, um, I'm not turning it on. So here, ooh, look at all that stuff, cool, cool. Scrambled eggs, however you want to make scrambled eggs. I'm in a hurry. I'm just going to put all that goodness in here. Actually, it's a cast iron pan, so I can also... Oh, yeah, let's scramble with this. Don't do that with um, other pans. Cast iron, totally fine. You can go in with that one. Well, I actually like to, and I'm trying to loosen up also from the, uh, yeah, so get it off. I try to loosen up the stuff from the, oh, it's gonna get totally scrambled. So like, I need to get it out of the pan. I don't have much time today. <laughs> that went fast. Yeah, the pan is still totally hot, of course. I usually like scrambled eggs, still um, soft scrambled. Those are totally, uh, sure, hard scrambled, but they also have um, the chicken flour in it, so it'll be different anyway, so that's good. So what I wanted to say, try to say, is I tr also tried to loosen up the meat remains here, the drippings and whatever. So I want to get all that goodness here. Okay, and here we are already. Look how pretty, huh? So steak and eggs, super easy. I love it. Scrambled eggs, steak. Okay, so I'm really curious. I have here a little bit of a, oh yeah, a, bigger, a thicker one. So I really want to see if there is like in the middle, if it tastes salty. Oh, I already, yes, it does. Totally. Oh yeah. Mmm. It tastes more salty on the outside than the inside. 
and you saw me I didn't put any salt on it I just injected it so, so I just have the inside mm -hmm. yeah a little bit So I definitely, as I said, I really, really need to try this again with that really thick steak. I really want to, um, I'm going to do that more often now, yeah, because I know, like, I put a lot of salt on it and then I start eating and I, my pieces, like these pieces, then I put salt next to it or put salt all over it after I cut it or I like, yeah, scoop up more salt. So there is also salt in the middle. So I I um, really want to say, I mean, nothing wrong with that. And I love doing that, but I'm just curious. Like I would like to make a steak that has salt everywhere. You don't need to add any more salt after it's done. And uh, yeah, sometimes I like to eat a steak like this. So I'm not cutting it. Um, and even when I cut it, I, I eat it with my hands, but know what I mean? Just like eating a steak, not even cutting pieces off of it. So it would be cool if, yeah, I definitely will try that again. I love thick steaks, but I usually always have to add more salt when I eat them because they're so thick and it's not salty enough here. So now let's do the test. Is it salty enough? Hell yeah, it works. I definitely, definitely taste the salt in there. I can definitely taste it. Yeah. Have to, oh, for the roast, yeah. And check the roast with salt water. So it has in the roast uh, salt, uh, it gets salty. Mm. Okay, I have to write that down. Now, scrambled eggs. chicken flour mm -hmm. mm. I like it it just makes it a bit more um, a bit more um, dense you know like a little bit more but not in a bad way it's really good I mean it, it you don't get um, it's it's not as light um, and it's it's uh, it's hard to make soft um, I think I have something oh. <laughs> to soft scrambled eggs. It's it's uh, but it's it's very good. I love scrambled eggs in so many different variations. Um, so it just gives you a little bit of a difference. Mm, yeah, definitely. Yeah, something my of my uh, favorites. Just steak and eggs. Like really easy. But still with a little bit of a twist so yeah that's it i have to go now oh yeah well it's not like i have to go somewhere but there is um a zoom meeting well they don't see me i can eat but i have to get that ready and i um i had to film that before so now i can just sit in my zoom meeting zoom call and just keep eating my deliciousness I see you next time and I wish you all the best and bye. Thanks for watching. If you try out this recipe, please tag me and let me know how you like it. Subscribe, share, like, comment, follow me on Instagram at Carnivore Girl. See you next week in my next episode of Carnivore Girl's Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants, no dairy, the next level cooking show.